Long before gravity and time caught up with my physique, I was a fit, rock-hard steel infantry soldier in the Canadian Army. I could run for miles, I could carry 100 pounds of kit without breaking into a sweat, and I could outshoot and outfight almost anybody. I was excellent at my job, and I was becoming a leader. Part of my development was to be spent on a patrolling course. For the uninitiated, patrolling is the eyes and ears of the Army, and you're operating well in front of the front lines. It's euphemistically how we used to reach out and touch the enemy when they least expected us. This particular course was held in the early spring in cold and wet weather, trudging for three weeks over cold and wet ground, eating cold and wet food, and sleeping in cold and wet sleeping bags. It was miserable and awful, but only as exhilarating as a true test of your mental, physical, and emotional capacity could ever be. Part of the course was a 20, the exam of the course was a 25 kilometer night patrol through swamp and bush and more rain. And come dawn, we'd cleared our objective and started pulling back towards our designated pickup point. As we broke through the tree line, we hoped like hell there was a helicopter or a truck or even a donkey so we didn't have to walk anymore. But there was this giant hill that went up and up and up. And on the top of it was the instructors of the course screaming at us to run up this damn big hill. And behind them was black and gray and green and purple skies scudding across, clouds scudding across the sky, pouring more rain on us and sleet coming down so hard it felt like pellets hitting your skin. Of course, we had to run up that stupid hill. And as we got to the top, it, it appeared from all our perspective that the hill cleaved off behind and fell thousands and thousands of feet to water. And the instructors started yelling at us to jump off the cliff. I spent 35 years in the military and responding to humanitarian disasters around the world. And I'm gonna tell you, the confidence and faith I got from those type of courses allowed me to do the impossible. And when I was leading fit, strong, motivated, honorable and noble teams against some of the most unbelievable things you could imagine, it was that sort of training that got me through. And I'm gonna tell you something, just talking about when it was really humming and clicking, gets my adrenaline pumping and I can feel the goosebumps on my skin, thinking about what it was like to lead those people. Whether, when you're heading into danger and everybody around you is heading the other way, be it a natural disaster or speaking to your peers at CAPS, <laughs> you have to have faith and trust in yourself. You have to have faith and trust in your people, your leaders, and that you actually truly are on a noble mission. There will be times when you or your people were soaked in fear and time will seem endless for them, but you have to lead them through that by acting with motivation and skill, being present with courage and humility, and doing your job with driven purpose. 35 years or on that hill, on that cold, wet hill, I flung myself off that cliff because I trusted my leaders. I had faith that my men were following me, and I didn't want to look like a loser when I went back to the home unit because I failed that damn course. And I'm going to tell you something. For one brief moment, I didn't soar for a second. I fell like a rock, five feet, 10 feet, 15 feet into a big pile of padding, the arms of my instructors, and a pass on the course. A sad footnote of the day with that day was three guys didn't have faith, didn't have trust, didn't jump, failed on the top of that hill. Three weeks of their lives gone. Faith and trust is an exponential force multiplier on your team, whether it's the military, Red Cross, or at work. Lack of faith and trust will tear you down, potentially ruin your team, and cause your organization to fail in meeting its objectives. Faith and trust will allow you to fling yourself off to the precipice into unknown. Well-founded faith, as a famous philosopher David Lee Roth will say, will allow you to go ahead and jump. <laughs>